Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS 6 back to iOS 5 firmware 5.1 on your iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th generation, and the iPad 2 under certain conditions. No, this will not work on the iPhone 4S or iPad 3 just yet, however once a method is out for those devices, of course I will be showing you guys how to do that, but for now this is only for the A4 devices. Now whatever the reason may be for downgrading back to iOS 5.1, maybe it's because you want the untethered jailbreak, maybe the glitches and bugs got to you on iOS iOS 6 or you don't like the Apple Maps, whatever the reason, this video will show you guys how to downgrade back to iOS 5.1 and of course I will lead you to a video that will show you guys how to jailbreak untethered. Of course you do need to have your SHSH blobs saved, this is for iOS 5.1, chances are you do have them saved if you have been jailbroken before on iOS 5.1 and if you don't have your 5.1.1 blobs saved, whatever other iOS 5 blobs you do have saved, maybe 5.1, 5.0.1, this video will show you guys how to downgrade to those as well. Now let's go ahead and get straight down to the point you guys will need to download three things to your desktop and this is either for mac or windows it'll work for both systems you guys will need red snow 0.9.14 beta 2 you guys will need your ios 5.1 firmware or whichever other firmware you are downgrading to and you guys will need tiny umbrella which we will be retrieving your shsh files with all links can be found down below in the description you will find the link there to a written guide as well as the links to all of these things so make sure you do have them downloaded and out on your desktop now most of you guys will already know what tiny umbrella is and you do know where to find your sh SH files. However, for those of you that do not have your SHSH files at hand, this video will show you guys how to retrieve them if of course you have saved them before. Now with Tiny Umbrella open, you want to select on your device, you want to go to advanced, and you want to navigate to the folder where you want to save your SHSH files. Mine are on my desktop in an SHSH folder. You want to make sure request SHSH from Cydia is checked, and go ahead and select save SHSH. Now this will take just a minute, it'll basically save all SHSH files that Cydia has saved for you. Okay, now you can go ahead and exit out of Tiny umbrella and go to your SHSH folder. In here you want to find your 5.1.1 SHSH file. I have it right here but I already have it on my desktop. You basically want to drag it out to your desktop and then we're going to go ahead and run Red Snow. And with Red Snow open go ahead and navigate to Extras, SHSH Blobs, Stitch and in here you're going to select your 5.1.1 IPSW that I did tell you guys to download and over here you're going to select Local and select the SHSH file that I also told you guys to retrieve using Tiny Umbrella. Now if you guys do not have your local SHSH blob but you do know that Cydia has your SHSH blob saved, you can just select Cydia and it'll automatically patch it into the firmware so you don't even have to download Tiny Umbrella. And this will take about 5 minutes so just give it a break and I'll be right back. Now that the blob stitching is done, go ahead and select OK. We're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and power down our device we are going to be downgrading. So on Red Snow you want to select Pwn DFU and then select Next and we're going to hold our power for 3, 2, 1 together with our home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until you see that your device is put into Pwn DFU mode using Red Snow. Now Red Snow will say done, your screen will remain black, that's okay. Now go ahead and open up iTunes. Now you guys will get an error in iTunes, that's okay. And now on your keyboard, depending on whether it's a Mac or Windows, on a Mac you're going to hold Option, on a Windows you're going to hold the Shift key. At the same time, while holding the Option or Shift key on your Mac, you want to left click and select Restore. On your desktop, you will see that new IPSW that Red Snow just created, and you want to go ahead and select it. Select OK and your device will begin downgrading to iOS 5.1.1. This usually does take about 10 minutes and you guys will get an error at the end that's okay. Now let's talk about a couple errors while restoring. Some of you guys will get them, actually many of you. If you get the 1600 error that means your device is not in Pwn DFU mode. You do need to put it into Pwn DFU mode. I just showed you guys how to do that on Red Snow. So you want to make sure it's in proper Pwn DFU mode using Red Snow and then you restore and you will not get that error. If you guys get the 3194 error, click on this annotation right here. It'll take you to my 31 94 error fix, it means you guys do have a host file that is not directed towards Apple's servers. So once mine is finished, I'll be right back and I'll show you guys what to do with that error. In Red Snow, you'll want to force a DFU mode, so hold the power and home for 10 seconds, select over the power button and keep holding the home button, and then you want to select recovery fix, and it will kick your device out of recovery mode and you'll be back on iOS 5.1 stock. And there you go guys, your device is now back on iOS 5.1. We successfully downgraded from iOS 6 back to an iOS 5 firmware, so I do hope this video helped you guys downgrade. If it did, please like and favor it. It does help me tremendously in return. If you guys have any kind of questions, leave them down below. I will try to get to them. Or if you guys have any general comments about this video, also leave them down below. And please subscribe as there will be so much more coming about the iPhone 5 and iOS 6 in the future. So make sure to subscribe to see that. And guys, enjoy iOS 5.1. Of course, if you do want a jailbreak on this firmware, there will be a link in the video right there. So make sure to see that. Have a great day, guys.
Peace.